I think 2021 has been one of the most amazing years and I'm just going to share what has happened over the last one year and what are my future plans for 2022. So again, this is a natural talk where I'm just going to be free and frank with all of you and I'm just going to state whatever has happened with me over the last one year. So firstly, you know, on 1st Jan 2020 when I was in Goa with five of my school friends, so there was this butterfly beach in Goa. So we were there and that person had come and he was just telling that I am your YouTube subscriber. And I was just overwhelmed at that point of time because that was the first time it had happened with me. And that too in Goa, like which is not my hometown. So he just asked me that, can I get a selfie with you? And all of my friends who were there, so they were just completely amazed. So, you know, it all started by that. And that was the best source of motivation for me. Like, it's like, oh wow, people are getting to know me. So I'm just going to create more valuable content so people are just going to like that and maybe over the year 2021 I'll just have an aim to at least get 50k subscribers which I was able to get it by May 2021 itself so again this has been one of the best years as I have been repeatedly saying like I've had amazing set of friends even on my birthday like they gave me a huge surprise in terms of just decorating my entire room I am like very lucky enough to just get these kind of friends uh, we celebrated my mom's birthday like she turned 50 in the year 2021 where I had sung a song Meri Ma on guitar so I was just learning guitar at that point of time and I think I was just trying to uh, figure out how do I sing this song in front of 25-30 people so I was a little nervous but it's okay like uh, I don't care that people are going to say what they are going to say they were so we celebrated my mom's birthday then there was my birthday then uh, you know like in the year March 2021 it was like pandemic was going on and I was just working from home I was fed up like just after working from home again and again so March, April, May and June I think I have focused more on content and less on my work because March to, 20, March to uh, June 2021 there was a slack period like uh, during those four months I was in a stint at uh, a particular company but there was no much work so I focused on guitar I focused on gymming exercise I focused on creating content but all in all I'd like to say that in May 21 that was the one of the best moments I've had so as soon as I crossed 50k subscribers I released the episode with one and only Sri TN Manoharan sir and that was like one of the best moments of my life so you know I'll, I'll share this thing with you I had always dreamt that I want to interview industry stalwarts of our country on my YouTube channel and if I can get a chance to talk to them let's say for 30 minutes or 45 minutes I just like to showcase it on my channel and give it back to the entire CA fraternity and with that motivation this motivation I had in May 2020 long back when I had started my channel so the first guest who's my very close friend Karan Patel I started my conversation with Kushal podcast with him I interviewed him I interviewed his experience at JP Morgan how he was able to get the industrial training at JP Morgan investment banking and that to front end like it's like usually people get in the back office but he got a very good client exposure as such so starting from that and then interviewing Suresh Prabhu sir as well that is the journey like starting from Karan Patel and then all of my other friends also like Devyansh Jain and then I interviewed other people who had gone into Harvard, Wharton or London Business School and then gradually I started uh, thinking that okay what if I invite some industry solver or maybe what if I try to reach out to these people I know that they aren't going to say no but even if they say no that's absolutely all right the maximum you lose here is that okay they aren't going to say yes that's the only thing there's nothing wrong even if they aren't saying yes so I think with this mindset only I was able to interview Honorable Sri Suresh Prabhu sir and I released that episode of uh, Suresh Prabhu sir on 11 July 2021 which was his 68th birthday and again I feel that was like one of the best moments I've had. So you know all in all this 2021 has been so lucky for me. I feel like I am like one of the most luckiest persons uh, because the thing is that like there's no particular struggle which I've done you know, in terms of like I didn't have any financial crisis or maybe I did not have anything which was just bothering me a lot. My parents are extremely supportive I had a very good set of friends and I think all these factors combined together that really helped me in order to give my best no matter what was happening so all in all I feel lucky as of now as well like having 70k subscribers having 38k followers on LinkedIn 17k on Instagram and having a very good paying job at Aditya Birla group itself having good set of frat mates as of now I'm staying in Mumbai I'm staying in Mumbai away from my parents but all in all sometimes I feel like it's like just overwhelming I'm very very lucky and I think that even in 2022 I'm going to give my best in order to become a better human being then June July 2021 it uh, went so from July itself I started working from office and trust me that was one of the best decisions I've taken because Aditya Villa group they stated that they are going to start calling their employees from September 2021 but I thought that let's go from July 21 itself and let's see how the work from office environment is and you know what my efficiency increased manifold when it came to work from office as compared to work from home work from home was like just sitting on that chair in front of a laptop in a captured room and I think that was very frustrating at that point of time because work from home like at least for me it did not work out the way it should have worked out but work from office was when I I was just seeing other employees also who were working 
few of the employees were coming to the office who used to stay nearby and i shifted to mumbai already by july 21 and i think that was one of the best decisions i've taken i was able to interact with the group chief economist because we were the only two coming to the office and i was his executive assistant at that point of time so i have now been shifted to aditya billa ventures which is a new vc fund set up by aditya billa group but until then i was his executive assistant and i think the interactions or the informal chats which i have had with him after office hours they are just going to be invaluable because i don't know how do i just compute the value of those talks or maybe of those discussions with such an such an extraordinary person his name is dr rajit ranade you can just google him out he's there like on google and uh, wikipedia as well and just the amount of knowledge that person has i think it is just tremendous i am definitely going to try to interview him also for my podcast but having said that i have had one of the best experience in the last 6 months in the corporate economics cell which was the department where i was transferred to while the hr was giving me the final role and i think work from office has been a boon to me and i have really enjoyed a lot in order to get that economic exposure at a very young age itself so once i shifted to mumbai in july 2021 uske baad samajh aata hai yaar life kitni matlab kitni miserable ho jati hai it's like mom is not there dad is not there and sab khud se karna hai so maybe uh, up making milk or maybe just ordering everything it's like you have to do everything by your own and i'll just share some photos with you of course you'll be watching them so this is the uh, situation where i was in and aap dekh sakte ho ye photo maybe ki how i was just terrible at managing things so all in all it has been a very good experience and you know the most important thing is to move out of your comfort zone if you're just staying in a shell with your parents i think you're in your comfort zone and the growth is restricted so this is one of the tweets by my uh, close friend anand and he has stated that the growth is inversely proportional to the comfort zone so the more you stay in your comfort zone lesser is your growth the less you stay in your comfort zone higher is the growth and i think you should realize this once you realize this then the growth trajectory will be exponential and that is what i have done from july 2021 just moving here and just focusing on my work focusing on my career which has really helped me in order to become a better human being so right from interviewing suresh prabhu sir dn manoharan sir to interviewing in influencers as well like raj shamani going at his home and having a face to face podcast i think all in all this has been one of the most amazing years i know i'm repeating this but this is the happiness which i have towards the year and as 2021 is coming to an end so like one lesson for all of you is that no matter how difficult situation you are in right now or maybe no matter whatever is there in your life trust me if you have that mindset or if you know that you want to become a better human being it's completely up to you whether you want to be a better human being or not so just focus on the positive things let go of the negative things which are there in your life and just focus or maybe think that you want to grow and ask yourself how can i grow each and every day the best source of motivation for me maybe to create content or give my more than 100% in work life or anywhere i go is that i want to meet my source of inspiration so that i can become successful and you know once i become successful it'll be easier for me to meet my inspiration that is the biggest motivation for me and i think this is really helping me in order to create more content not only creating content but also to do very good in my work life which is there in aditya villa group right now so at the same time it's very important that you should take a break also okay like just enjoy the sunsets go out to beaches watch movies with your friends i think that watching these movies is not unproductive at all or maybe going out for sunset walks or maybe just going out for night walks with your friends is not unproductive at all what is unproductive if you're daydreaming or if you're getting distracted at your work that is unproductive so if you're studying and daydreaming that is unproductive if you're working and daydreaming again that is unproductive but taking breaks going out on vacations and just hanging out with friends or chilling out casually or chilling out once in a while it's absolutely okay and i think you should do that because you need breaks in your life everyone in their life needs to unplug themselves including you once you start to unplug yourself i think you can realize and introspect what is lying ahead of you so having said this i think 2022 is again going to be one of the most amazing years i'll be continuing my job in aditya billa group and parallelly i'm also going to create content on topics like stocks maybe asset classes investment philosophies etc so that you all can also understand what exactly is my investment criteria and investment ideas when i invest in a particular stock so it's going to be more finance related channel going down in the next year from 2022 and i think if you have any ideas or if you have any comments which you want me to create a video on please do comment below in the video section itself and i'll definitely try to incorporate them going forward in the year 2022 So once again like wish you all a very happy new year and with this optimism itself let's get started for the year 2022 and let's decide that we are going to become a better version of ourselves and let's try to compare ourselves with the previous ourselves 
let's stop comparing with our peers start comparing yourself with the previous yourself because as i quote that comparing yourself with the previous yourself is the best way to understand yourself and once you do this i think it's going to be a very good thing for you also in order to grow as a person and you can become a better version of yourself going down in the year 2022 so happy new year to each and every one of you let the sun rise for 2022 and with that sunrise itself let it energize your body and let it also rejuvenate your body from top to bottom and let's promise our own selves that we are going to become a better version of ourselves in the year 2022 no matter what the challenges are no matter what the difficulties are going to be i'm going to give my best in the year 2022 and this is again going to be one of the most amazing years of my life so with this mindset let me end this video and if you do have any ideas or suggestions for me in order to create content please drop in the comment section and i'll definitely try to incorporate that so thank you so much for watching this video wish you a very happy new year